Right, morning everyone, it's day two, so I'm back here and it took me all day yesterday but I've got all the boxes in now, so you can see here, up there, up there, up there, I think there's like 14 boxes in total, um, all very carefully cut out and now we're ready to go with cabling. Um, so I'm just busy drilling out the joists now, so what I'm going to be doing <coughs> is running the cables along the bottom here and then j just looping in and out of the bottom of the sockets. Um, I'm going to do two radials, one for this side going that way and then the other for that side so it's going to come from the DB all the way around that side and in here. So I'm just drilling the holes round here now. I've got to do this whole side, just drill all the way along in and out and then round to the db around the corner and then i've done the same on this side uh, i've done done the drilling already on this side so you can see i've got my first cable in here i did sort of a test run just to get one cable in on this one to make sure it goes in okay and it was fine i've got a data point to go on here as well so i've actually got two cables to run all the way along there doing it in SWA which I know it probably seems like a bit of overkill but that's what the customer wanted and at least it's protecting the cables there is going to be insulation going in over this so it's 4 mil SWA and I'm just going to do 220 amp radials so cable carrying capacity should be fine I'm going to have it pressed up against the ply on the other side as much as possible so that can dissipate a little bit of the heat forward from the um, from the insulation it's that kind of um, kingspan stuff, you know, the hard stuff that's going to go in there. So they're just going to notch out the corners at the bottom, put the insulation in, and then it's going to be um, feather edge boarding going in all the way around, I think, oak feather edge, feather edge boarding, uh, which will be nice. So I've drilled all the way along here, all the way around. So you can see. Now the tricky part here is the corners. I've got to get around the corner like that. Um, so what I want to do is drill in at an angle like this, but it's oak inside, there's a massive oak timber and it's absolutely rock solid. It's like trying to drill through iron or concrete. Um, so I've got these amazing arm egg uh, wood beaver bits, which will go through oak, but it's still quite hard work. I did try doing all this drilling with my Makita battery drill and it was just not having it. So what I've done, I've got, you know my Titan drill, the big chunky one that I use for this one. I use it for core drilling and stuff. Well, I've actually got a normal chuck in it and I'm using that to do the um, drilling of the wood and it, it goes through it like butter. Well, the pine, it goes through like butter. The oak, it'll still be a bit of a challenge, but it's much easier than doing it with a battery drill. So once all the holes are drilled, then I'm gonna do all the armored cables in between, run them round, clip them in a little bit so that they're fixed in place. And then I'm gonna start with the lighting cables after that, which is gonna be fun. So basically the DB is going on here and this is the main armoured cable that's coming in and then from there I'm going to come out in and out of these sockets, one radial along this side so you've got one double socket, two double socket, along under this step here, third double socket, fourth double socket, fifth double socket and then up to that one and that will be the end of line and then I'm doing the same, it's like mirror image on this side basically down so that will be the end of line down along through the oak in the corner in and out all the way along under the step all the way around um, oh and actually we've got another one up at this end as well the opposite end so I've still got to put a noggin in and put the back box in for that but it will basically go along here up to that socket back down and across to the DB and the other side you can just see it there probably and there's another one up there so that'll be the first socket on that 
radial on that side. So it'll go up to that one and then down and around the corner. And then inside, we're gonna to start to do some lighting. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside of the boxes. It looks quite neat actually. It's worked out pretty well. So, see there, I've just jigsawed them out really neatly and gently. And I've got the hole is just slightly smaller than the back box. So the back box won't pull through the hole when we tighten the screws up. And I've got a noggin above which I fixed it into and I've used um, used penny washers in the tops of the boxes just to fix it in, knock out a couple of knockouts and then fix, screw in with penny washers and that holds the boxes in really quite solid so you don't really need any more than that. This is one that I've pulled the cable into already. Now what I wanted to do is actually use a coupler and a male bush here instead so that you don't have this protruding into the socket because I was slightly worried that that might cause a problem for the socket to go back but I don't think it will because it's about an inch back and I can't get any, any couplers at the moment or, or male bushes because the wholesalers are closed and the ones who are open didn't have any in stock so I just have to make do but I think this will be fine I don't have any large sleeving for these either, so I'm going to have to get some of those. So this was a bit tricky, but thanks to my arm egg extension bit, I've managed to get through here at just the right angle. So that cable can come along there now, in down this hole, and it will come out just at the right angle under the step. And then I can clip it along under the step and then do the same at the other end. Um, these arm egg extension bits are absolutely brilliant. They're just super thick and solid, so they can do your wood bits, they can do your screwdriver bits, in-back drivering, all that kind of stuff. I use this a heck of a lot, it's a really good little bit of kit. Right, so all the holes are drilled now. So I'm gonna start rolling the cable out and doing some cable uh, terminations. And this is my improvisation for the cable roller because the cable drum was slightly too big for my normal cable rollers that I use so I'm just doing this. Scaffold pole and a couple of clamps works a treat. So it's with jobs like this that I'm very glad I've got my CK armor slice tool because 
it's uh, an absolute lifesaver when you're terminating so many armoured cables like this. I've got about 20 odd terminations to do. So, and this money and all that, it's uh, a big time saver, that tool. I got myself this as well, and this is proving to be a real lifesaver, again, for, for stripping the armoured. It's just absolutely ideal. So all my cables are in now, you can see how I've just neatly clipped them along the bottom as close to the bottom as possible so that they're kind of out of the way and then straight vertical up uh, in between so that the customer knows exactly where the cables are running when he's fixing the boards back and things um, because he's a bit worried about hitting cables with nails. So I've run around here, you can see my armoured data cable there as well going into that single data socket all the way along and there's a lighting cable up there for an outside light all the way along here in and out around the corner uh, I've just got these cables that I still need to put in because I've got to still put the noggins and back boxes up there upstairs and then they come out here and they're just gonna go underneath and loop in to the bottom of the metal enclosure and the same from the other side, I've just got to drill through the corner there, run these two cables in. Uh, I've got lighting cables as well, so these two armoured lighting cables, one goes up here, the other one goes across above the door frame and through and up here. And I've just drilled up and brought them out just in between these two beams where the LED strip lights are going to go. So as always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, hit a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Part three will be coming very soon, later on this week probably. So I hope you enjoy that and if you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, then you'll get notified when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.